Good evening, guys. So today I want to talk about uh, someone who is um, well, was quite important in my teenage years. Well, not important in the term, in the sense that it's someone that I know personally or that you know, but it had a, a big impact on my life because. Uh, I know I haven't really talked about uh, my preferences and from the way I dress and the way I act you may not be able to tell but I was always into vampires and I was always obsessed with vampires and all those subjects and obviously as a teenager I watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer and more recently you know I like superheroes and I watch uh, Marvel movies and <laughs> I'm not really I'm more a DC fan than a Marvel Universe fan but still I watch the movie so as you may have guessed I am a fan of Joss Whedon even though I don't agree with his politics especially more recently his views on Israel that are really ignorant and um, I wanted to make a special video about this but because there are lots of misconceptions so he has tweeted Hang on, I shall find it. Uh, hang on, where is his tweet? Mm. I don't know. Where is it? Turns out I may not have it available. Ha. Uh, So his tweet was, anti-Semitism in any form is appalling and unacceptable. The rise in Holocaust denial in this country is appalling and unacceptable. And then he tweeted in the same tweet, the oppression and slaughter of Palestinian people is appalling and unacceptable. These are not opposing opinions. Evil is only ever evil. And he also retweeted a lot of um, tweets defending Palestinians like, uh, um, hang on, who is this uh, guy? Uh, Sean King. Who is this guy? He's a celebrity. The name is not, is not uh, doesn't matter. I'm told now that 31 Palestinians have been shot and killed by Israeli forces today alone. This isn't a battle for a, uh, or a fight, it's a massacre. This is a horrible human rights violation, a war crime, it's state-sponsored terrorism. And as we know, some of the artists he works with are anti-Israel. And um, so, Joss Whedon, of course, he is... Uh, leftist and he has gone too leftist lately he has written great shows and to be honest the first few seasons of Buffy were excellent and I still like the later seasons but it became increasingly political and political but at the time it was innovative and I actually liked the show it was doing things that other shows weren't doing uh, although I have a pet peeves because I loved Willow and Oz and he separated them and so yeah doesn't matter so the thing with Josh Sweden he is that his uh, pro-Palestinian stance comes out of ignorance now first and foremost we have to say that um, Israel is not occupying any Palestinian territory. This is propaganda from leftist 
news outlets that have no knowledge of history. Most of Israel was built on Jewish land, land that was already owned and paid for by Jews or by um, Brit British, uh, the British Empire. But most, uh, and yes, it was called Palestine because Romans renamed it. And you should read Mordechai Sohn's Twitter uh, that uh, Palestine is uh, a Roman psyop. And he, there's uh, an article by Baruch Plettner that is masterfully written about the thing, the subject, because since Romans invaded Israel, um, Jews have never been able to regain full control of their land. And uh, despite the fact that people claim that the state of Israel was illegally built in uh, Palestinian lands, the fact is that even before the state of Israel was founded, the land was populated by more Jews than Muslims. I think it was populated by three quarters of Jews for uh, the ratio of Muslims. And so it was always mostly a Jewish land. Even coins from the period have Jewish inscriptions on it. And however much Palestinians try to deny the Jewish connection to the land, historical connection has been proven for years and years. And it's not something that uh, is recent. It's uh, We are not using the Bible to prove that Jews have the right to the land. There has been an ongoing, you know, a stable population of Jews in the area. Even after a great part of the population was driven away by Romans and by Arabs, there has always been Jewish presence in the territory that is now Israel, Jordan, and Palestine, until Arabs, and this is the real massacre, and this is the real genocide, and this is the real ethnic cleansing. Since the foundation of Israel, and even before that, Arabs have been murdering, chasing away, and force converting Jews from their lands. This has started even before the foundation of Israel, although it became more problematic when muftis in the area sided and worked with Hitler to e eradicate Jews. And then later on, after the foundation of Israel, the entire Middle East chased, killed, and exiled Jews from wherever they were in the Middle East. And you have to understand that Muslims see every land they conquer as theirs. So if a land is conquered by Islam, it becomes theirs forever. And so they must reconquer it. So that's why they claim the Iberian Peninsula and South Europe. And whenever they build a mosque, they consider that land part of their territory. It's a kind of a way to claim it. So this is why there will never be peace in the Middle East, because they will never be happy until Israel this is destroyed and Jews are exiled or killed. And uh, this is their purpose. Hamas is even claiming this for the press. Only the Western media is trying to cleaning up their image because Ham 
Hamas itself is claiming that the 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 Trump embassy move is not what's causing this. What's causing this is their will, their wish to destroy and kill as many Jews as possible. This is uh, a jihad. It's not. It's their purpose. Read the Quran. Read the Quran, and you'll know where this comes from. And you must know that. Of course, the data on uh, Joss Whedon's uh, Twitter is outdated, but almost all the Palestinians killed by IDF, almost all were Hamas terrorists. And certainly, almost certainly all of them were. You don't know any army as efficient as IDF. The collateral damage in IDF is the lowest in the entire world. They are so precise. They tolerate things and provocation that no other army in the world would tolerate. It's really insulting that all these celebrities that don't understand anything of war tactics, politics, and mainly of uh, the Israel-Palestinian conflict start giving their two cents without doing a minimum amount of research and realizing that IDF is doing their best and they care more about Palestinian citizens than their leaders. They care more about Palestinian children than their parents. And they, they, ex, they are provoked and they are abused by these people and they don't react because of international pressure. If uh, Gazans went to Egypt and to Sinai and tried to pull the little uh, nonsense they're pulling in the Jewish border, you can be certain that the Egyptian army would kill them all without looking at uh, child, children, or whomever they killed. They just wiped them off. And IDF is being really careful not to cause ca casualties. And most people that were shot were confirmed terrorists. And those that weren't weren't prob probably on that those lists, but they were certainly working for terrorists. Hamas is destroying services that Jews provide and Israel provides to uh, that Jews provide to Muslims in uh, Gaza. They are stealing the money and all the aid and channeling all the funds to terrorism. They are damaging the infrastructures built by Israel so that their population is poor, unsatisfied, and they get to use them as a weapon against Israel. They rejected medical aid from Israel. They were chanting death to Jews. They were throwing weapons and uh, trying to cause damage to Israel. They posted in, in incentives to invade Jewish neighborhoods and kill as many as they could. They want to kill Jews. They flew swastikas. They don't have, you know, they don't intend to just return to Israel peacefully. They want to kill Jews. And it is clear for them that once they return to Israel, they don't want Jews there. They want to 
drive everyone away because for them it's their land you have to understand that the last two generations were brainwashed from a young age to believe that Jews were never in Israel, that this is not their rightful place. And, uh, you know, the vast majority of real Palestinians that uh, were actually from the land they are not living in palestine they are living in israel and uh, you know they're israelis what you call palestinians are an artificial group made by arab politicians because they can't let go of what they perceive as arab land uh, so yeah, and it is sad that these celebrities that don't understand anything about the Palestinian and Israeli conflict start spewing hate to Israel. It's not enough that the media is spreading all this propaganda. Just Google Pollywood and you will see staged videos that Palestinians do to blame IDF of, for killing their own they will harm themselves to accuse IDF and you will see them staging videos and evidence comes to the internet showing them staging these videos. And what the leftist media gets is just snippets of those videos, edited portions to show and give an idea that IDF is slaughtering them and harming them but if you see the entire video, you will see that it's all theatrical. They are dead in one shot and uh, or injured. And in the next video, they're laughing together. They're running. They're, you know, this is all a conspiracy to destroy the public opinion of Israel. This is causing anti-Semitism. This is causing, uh, you know, it is hard in an era where anti-Semitism is rising. And Joss Whedon very clearly says it in his tweet that we live in an era where anti-Semitism is growing. And why is it growing? It's because of the spreading of Islam. It's because of the spreading of leftist ideologies that, and also right-wing ideologies. I'm not going to spare right-wing politicians because certainly there are right-wing politicians that also hate on Jews and on Israel, but I'm more concerned about the leftist anti-Semites because they think they're righteous. They think they are doing this for social justice when in reality it's out of hate because one thing that has been kept silence for centuries and that for years is the fact that leftist anti-Semitism is real. Russian po programs against Jews were real and we are seeing now a little consequence and a little modern version of that in the leftist support for Palestine, in uh, their support for secularization of Jewish religion and uh, the support for all this nonsense that is happening and all this attempt and uh, trying to say how Israel should define its external policy. If you look right now at the world, you'll see that everyone has its eyes on Israel. They ignore the, the atrocities that are being committed by Arab countries. They ignore the fact that more Palestinians have been killed by Arabs than by Jews. And Jews are only killing terrorists. 
whereas Arab countries are killing innocent Palestinians. And you don't see that. You don't see what's happening in Syria. You don't see what Mahmoud Abbas is doing. You don't see anything because that doesn't matter. Who cares if 40,000 people are dying in the Middle East when Jews are killing 60 people in Palestine and these are terrorists? No, they're not terrorists. They're innocent people. So it's far worse that Israel is killing terrorists in Gaza than all other Arab countries are killing thousands and thousands of innocent people. That's more relevant. That's the state of the world today. And uh, I know you will cry and say, oh, she's thinking about anti-Semitism. And the only conclusion I can get is that it is anti-Semitism. Because you see, everything Jews or Israel do is heavily condemned by everyone. Israel doesn't have the right to exist. No one considers Israel has the right to exist. But the most ferocious, the most non-democratic countries are funded by the UN, are time and time again defended, and their atrocities swept under the rug. That's the hypocrisy of the West. That's the hypocrisy of Europe. That's the hypocrisy of sheltered snowflake celebrities who don't know have anything about the world. They live in their Hollywood bubble. They don't know anything about the world. And they think they have the right to tell people that they are not allowed to defend their families, that they're not allowed to support the autonomy and self-determination of their country. I'm here to tell you, burst your bubble, inform yourselves. Your media is corrupt. It's not showing the truth. If you see a cleverly edited video giving the idea that innocent people are being killed, just research that video. Research that very video very well, and you may find proof that that's a staged video. That's a staged and biased opinion. You should always check your sources and check the two sides of the conflict. You're biased, and you're not seeking to understand what's happening. And this is serious. Thousands and thousands of Jewish lives, depending on the world, being informed of what is going on. Get out of your bubble. Stop influencing young children that see your movies about things you don't understand yourself. So before you spew any more nonsense about Israel, just get a freaking just read, just research. Don't stay there consuming the propaganda that you're being fed. You need and you owe to your fans, to your Jewish fans, and to everyone to research both sides of the conflict. How can you know that what you're saying is truth, is the truth, if you don't look for independent and unbiased sources. Well, how can you know that you're right if you don't see both sides of the conflict? I'm horrified every day to see these staged videos being spread in the media and just a few clicks away, just a little research and you get to see the entire videos from where the door snippets were taken from to give a wrong idea about Israel and the IDF. It is really important to inform yourselves because at this rate and with the rise of anti-Semitism, we may well, very well be headed for another Holocaust.
because all it takes is justifying the murder of innocent Jews. It's happened before. You know, the blood libel has been, is, has been used for centuries. You see the same propaganda that was being spread in the early 20th century and uh, mid 20th century during the war. The, the, the same rhetoric that were used in, that was used in war times against Jews is being used again against Jews and Israel. Wake up, wake up. This is serious. We live in a time where, again, both extreme left and extreme right are against Jews. But not only in that, centrists and leftists are also against Jews. We need to be careful to research our information. This is serious. Joss Sweden, please research what you're doing. Research the nonsense you're saying about Israel or shut up about things you don't understand. You're supposed to entertain people and if you cannot educate them or give good advice, just shut the F up about things you don't understand. Your words have an impact on the world. Just see the amount of people you have influenced all these years. Your uh, influence may kill thousands of innocent Jews. Your influence may cause a really cataclysmic influence in world politics because you're forming the opinion of young people that don't know any better about politics. They look up to you and they sadly look up to their favorite artists and celebrities for political opinions. It shouldn't be like this, but it is. So you have the responsibility to inform yourself and stop spewing nonsense about Israel. Stop spewing nonsense about the conflict. Inform yourself. Most of those, ter of those that were killed were confirmed terrorists. And I'm pretty sure that those that were not confirmed as terrorists will be soon appear on lists. Just listen to what Hamas has to say about the protests. protests. These are not protests. It's an invasion. It's a clear invasion. It's a jihad against Israel. Only, you know, you have a saying in my country. The worst kind of blind is the one that doesn't want to see. And sadly, you're one of those. And I'm happy that there isn't any more Buffy or anything from you that I want to see right now. Because I'm really disappointed. You're a great artist, and but your politics are really lousy. And I think that either get informed or stop spreading nonsense and influencing people to take political positions that may endanger the very existence of Israel and the very su survival of Jews on this planet. Because anti-Semitism is rising everywhere. And uh, without Israel, you know, there is no safe place for Jews anymore. And uh, just educate yourself. It's not hard. We live in a world where you can get access to the internet everywhere. You don't even have to pay for an internet connection. You have information 24-7. You just have to look up for the right words and you'll find the information. And I know there's an overwhelming amount of propaganda and the propaganda far outnumbers the real facts. But 
if you're a truth seeker, you will find the truth. Please inform yourself and stop spreading lies to your fans. Bye, and I see everyone in the next video. And uh, I hope you can take away some good advice from this. And I know I'm a little angry and a little disappointed. And this is a kind of a more serious video, but it's something that really bothers me is this celebrity tendency to virtue signal about things they don't understand. So, bye, see you next video.